Alright, so some of the noise that you hear behind us, um, Treviso is a very active town, very vibrant live town. You have the fish market right there, and uh, they're actually just closing up for the late morning. But a point I wanted to make um, that Miranda brought to my attention about the history of the town and the frescoes, why you see so much fresco work in Treviso is because it's actually, they were um, a poor town, one of the towns surrounding Venice, which was the power. You don't see too much fresco work in Venice on the outside because they did works in real sculpture, real marble, real stone carvings. But um, here in Treviso, they didn't have that kind of resources. So what they could do at cheaper at the time was fresco work. They would paint to create all of their decorations. And um, they became a symbol of prosperity on a local level to do this. So it got into a crazy competition it actually got quite ridiculous when the whole town was very colorful, very full of frescoes until uh, to put a uh, kind of a comet down, the uh, magistrate uh, started to tax them, which wasn't well received because Italians don't like to pay taxes in this time. I don't think they like to pay taxes now either, but they have to. And um, so as a result, Treviso um, has just some of the most beautiful examples of uh, fresco work in exterior, into lime, in the, uh, in the Venice region.